We are already moving on to our next matter and want to talk about a device based on radio frequency that is intended for the treatment of erectile dysfunction. Here is Daniel Lishinsky, entrepreneur and inventor of the Vertica device. Hello and welcome, Daniel. Please show us the device. Hello, Daniel. Come tell us about the device. We will not do a demo in the studio for obvious reasons. Definitely not. Vertica device, which is a total, is a revolution in the field of impotence, more specifically in the erectile field, because until today, all the pills and all the solutions only treat the entrance of a person to the organ, which is actually treating the elasticity of the tissues. This device is the first, which uses a different concept, which is to treat the exit, or more precisely, the non-exit of a person from the organ to cause it. An erection, it should be remembered, is caused by a rapid entry of blood and a stoppage of its exit from that organ. Exactly. And the erection, the factor responsible for this is the white tunic, the tunica albuginea, which with age gets weaker and then each time a little more blood escapes and therefore it is a little harder to maintain an erection. The device is a very simple device to use, personal use with the approval of the Ministry of Health at home, in privacy, not related in time to the sexual act itself. It's personal training at any given moment and then restores spontaneity and naturalness. Which is sometimes more important than anything. I want to ask you, you said that you conducted a study which tested the effectiveness. Tell us a little about it's it. It's true. We did a first uh, clinical trial at the Rambam Hospital to test the theory. Uh, a pilot trial, we call it, as if we were doing the placebo. And the trial was done at the Rambam Hospital over the course of two years. And we got results over 89%. About how many patients? Actually, not patients, but patients. Of the 28 patients looking helpless, but certainly everyone who entered the experiment had a significant erectile problem and the results there is a graph you can see on the screen that in fact over 54 percent returned to full function with full stiffness and another 50 percent reached level two which start with level one or two oh here's the graph I mean, there was some improvement. Uh, you said that you have permission from the Ministry of Health to market this thing. I mean, it is not a device that is harmful to the best of your knowledge. And also in the assessment of the Ministry of Health, how many treatments are needed and how long does it last? In terms of the use we recommend at home today, it is in the first month between two and three treatments a week for 15 minutes. In the second month, they say twice two treatments a week. Then we recommend each one according to need, some do not continue because they feel they have reached where they have reached and have achieved a significant improvement. But we recommend using once a week as a maintenance treatment. Say, you're talking about energy, using radio wave energy. Doesn't it have some kind of danger? There is no, I know. Absolutely not. There are several types of RF or radio frequency energy. It's not radiation, it's conduction. The purpose of this energy is to create heat inside the tissues. That body heat understands it as some kind of event that comes to treat the event of the heat and then regenerates the tissues. As we are cut or some kind of event, the body renews itself in the very device, causes the body to start restoring the tissues by itself. Are there any side effects? We have no side effects. It is a non-invasive, non-intrusive device. Burns because it produces heat. No, the heat. device is very smart. Not only does it measure temperature at every point of contact with the organ, but also measures the electrical properties of the tissues. If I put something that is not meant to be inside, it won't work. It won't give energy. Wow. Okay. You updated us. I'm looking forward to reading the article when it's published. And kudos for thinking outside the box. Really kudos without saying more. Daniel Lishinsky, thank you very much. Thank you very much for coming to us. Thank you.